Put your ass up. GGIF. Look at them guider boys right there. Guider, guider. Wiz with our seven. How long you been trucking for? Seven years. Seven years? You been owner operator the whole seven years? What year is this? 25. 25? Knife. I know, that's one of our trucks right there getting loaded. Hey, I don't need theaters. Plenty of room for us to swing in there. Enough! Smacked you, huh? Oh, hell yeah. And you leak and a freeze. Make sure you stop what you're doing and join that new giveaway we got going on. We're going to be giving away a new truck GPS. It's a Garmin um, OTR 800 8 inch truck GPS. Be great for all you new truck drivers, man. I'll show you guys how you can uh, follow the truck routes, give you the truck routes, give you the overpasses. It's, it's a great tool if you're new to the trucking industry to help you navigate these roads. We got tickets starting at $1. So if you want one of these GPSs, are you new to trucking? Or just any of my trucking guys that want a, a new GPS, man. Join the giveaway. Giveaway starts at $1, y'all. Get your tickets now. Thanks. What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Al. Y'all tune back on with them Jennings boys, man. And we back, man. Back on the video. Back up early morning. Man, tell them what to do, Reg. Hey, man. Get your ass straight up. Get wake your ass up, man. It's time to get to this money, man. Truck. We getting everybody pre-trip. Everybody going to different jobs today, man. Everybody scattered around the city today. Got two trucks going here, two trucks going there, two trucks going over here, one truck over here. We touching all grounds today. We got to make stuff happen, y'all. Y'all already do, man. If you're new to the channel, we do dump truck vlogs, trucking vlogs. Show you how you can get your CDL, save up, buy you a truck, start making that thousand dollars a day, man. If that's something you're interested in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that post notification bell, like the video. We're going to keep running these numbers on up. Y'all already know what to do, man. Go in the comments. Let us know where y'all tuned in from, uh, what city y'all from, what state y'all from. Put your city on, put your state on. Let us know what kind of trucking y'all doing. You doing over the road, flatbed, box truck, trash truck, and whatever kind of trucking you doing. Go in the comments right now. Let us know what y'all doing. Let us know what kind of trucks y'all driving. And, uh, yeah, we gonna get our day started, man. Hey, man, I just wanna let y'all know, have a blessed and productive day. That's yes, all sir. Yes, truck. sir. Thursday, making our way to the weekend. I don't know if we're gonna work Saturday or not yet. It's still too early to tell. But, uh, hopefully we work every day. We need every day we can get right now, y'all. Cause it's getting cold out here. Christmas coming up. We only got a few more weeks. You know what I'm saying? You on the move? You know where you going? Yes, sir. There you go. Only person we missing now is Bill. We're gonna go ahead and get his truck started. Actually, he don't even get here till eight. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm tired this morning. I don't know why. I think I got too much sleep. You know how you get too much sleep and you be extra tired. Trying to debate if I want to go to this auction or not. It's an auction out in the country, man. It's about an hour from here. They got this clean Z50, clean Z71 I want. I don't feel like driving out there, man. That's a mission. Mission, boy. It's like non-stop. Always something going on around here. To drive an hour there, drive an hour back. I'll probably be there for at least an hour, hour and a half. This one right here, you gotta be there and just bid while you're there. You can't just bid online. Ain't that simple and easy like Mannheim. So I'm figure out if I'm gonna go to that. See, I'm going to the gym right now. I'm going to the auction, man. I don't know which one I should do, y'all. I don't know which one I should do. It's 
Something that happened. It's too early for the EMS. Somebody done probably got into an accident or something. For sure. Tripping this truck and look what I find, y'all. Loose boat. How the hell that come loose? Then it don't even reach to up there, so we're gonna have to figure that out. Need to put some cooling in here. Got our first customer pulling up. Sun, sun rising. Red. That's cool. It's winter time. We don't want to add no water. We want to be full strength. It's another thing, man. All y'all into this trucking game, y'all better be checking y'all's coolant, man. Testing y'all's coolant out. Make sure it's strong enough to withstand this winter time. You don't want it freezing up. Definitely don't want it freezing up in your block or in your radiator. Most definitely want to check and drain your tanks. Make sure your tanks drain. It's about to get cold out here, y'all. You want to make sure your truck A1. Make sure it's weatherproof. If you ain't ever owned a truck in the wintertime, boy, you're going to learn today. All my truckers in there going to comments right now and let us know all the bull crap you done been through. Dealing with a truck in the wintertime. Cat film all the way out. I done seen trucks freeze up, don't want to air up, don't want to move. Seen the coolant freeze up. I done seen it all, y'all. Let's pop this cat back on here and get her started. All right, we got that truck warming up. He can go out. Let's see what we got going on here. We split. Early morning, early morning. I was supposed to go to the gym, so I'm off to go to the gym. Customer pulled up, or customer called me. I'm supposed to go to the auction. You never know how these days gonna go, y'all. Gotta go with it. I might still go to the gym though. Or I might hit that, hit that uh, Los Santos. What's it called? Los gym. Santos gym over there in the back. The hood gym. I ain't gonna lie, I feel good out here, for real. We're gonna hit that Los Santos gym when we get done with this tire. Get to it. And I'm gonna grab me a bowl, grab me something to eat. Okay, it's gonna be a beautiful day, y'all. Feel good out here. Y'all see it, don't stress, call JDS. Any of y'all looking for some tires, come holla at me. I got used, new, I got deals. 
I got 90 day, 90 day uh, finance specials where you only pay $50 down, get you a whole set of tires. You pay weekly for 90 days, 12 weeks. Get you a whole set of tires, get you plugged in, man. If you can't afford no tires right now, you need tires bad. You riding on them donuts, you riding on them skin bones, you down to the white meat. Man, come holler at me, I get you together. Especially if you're riding them floats. Don't ride no bad floats or no bad steer tires, y'all. If I got bad steer tires, come holler at me. Show y'all how I can get some new tires for $54 down. And then you just spread the payments out and pay weekly. You want And the interest is only $75, y'all. Interest is only $75. So don't be scared, man. Come holler at me. This one, like, he's been driving it flat, too. He rode up against something, one of the two. That motherfucker got on flat. Richland. All right, we're gonna knock this out, y'all. We're gonna get in that hood gym. All set, big dog. You're in that bitch up right now. And I stay back away from that motherfucker. You see that? See that ring of death on there? That motherfucker will blow up. In a heartbeat. I like the hole right there. You got a hole for the show right there. Right here. Yeah, that's a baby hole. That motherfucker tire about done. This one. I got both of them from here too. What y'all new tires here for? Uh, the ones I got right now, they like 390. 390 tires? Yep. Yeah, you need to go ahead and put them virgins on there because them caps, all they gonna do is blow. Right. Especially with that ring on there, I stand back away from that motherfucker. Sure. That motherfucker, I done seen them. Blow up the outside of cap. That's the one thing about these tire, all these construction sites and shit. They be having all that shit all out yeah, everywhere, yeah, running all kind of stuff over. And the long guys. See it all day long. I think it's cause that that's because that water soapy. The more soapy that water is, the more bubble, the more bubble it's gonna be. How much air how much air that got in it now? Tell him I got a program. Tell him to do the program. It's like 90 days, same as cash, but basically, it's 50 dollars down. You get a set of tires, and you pay uh, weekly. Get my man blessed with some new tires. What these steers look like. Steers ain't too bad, but you're gonna be you're gonna need some of those here soon too. Bridgestone. Big Kenworth. Big Kenworth. Big International. Big Kenworth. 
Big Western Star, Big Western Star need to. Y'all been playing. They gonna really make me run this Western Star, y'all. They gonna really make me run the Western Star, man. We gonna see. I really want a smaller truck, steel bed. What I want, smaller. That's a stone. That's a that's a that's a big money truck over there. Give me the little big money truck. You feel me? Something going on with this drop axle valve on this truck too. It's building up too much pressure on the tag axle, cheater axle, whatever y'all call it. So we're gonna check that out too. Bill, where you at? Bill running late. Check about to get on Bill's ass when he get in here, man. Said he overslept. He usually the first one here though. I can't say that. Bill usually the first one here. Running behind today. So this your gauge for your drop axle. I like to keep mine around 40 pounds PSI. So what you do is pop this up to unlock it. And you can turn it up or turn it down to adjust the pressure. But it's always delayed. So when you adjust it, adjust it and give it a second. And then check it out. There you gonna see. The valve might be... Uh, there it go. All right. So I just adjusted to let it sit. Now let's recheck it now. See what it go up to. So when you drop that axle, you gotta adjust it while the axle drop too. So I just dropped it. Let's see how much pressure it build up. It take time too. It don't happen instantly. So you let it give it give it time to build all the way up to what it's gonna build up to. Then check your check your pressure and see how much you got and then when you adjust it after you adjust it a little bit give it time to adjust because it ain't gonna adjust instantly yeah if you ain't got enough on there your, your tire gonna drag and skid you got skid marks in your tire if you got too much pressure on there it's gonna make the truck you got make the truck try to pull push itself up off the ground you're gonna be wobbling and stuff you don't want that especially in the six axle you got your front axle too much pressure on it you're gonna hit a turn or something truck fuck around keep going straight especially if it's wet outside yeah. Let's see. it's going up slowly i'm gonna try to get this adjusted right get him out on the road we're in that teeth that them jennings boys gym the los santos gta gym about to get to it real quick we ain't got much but uh we got a little something back here that's how you do the, 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 the acrobatics. You know what I'm saying? That jail workout. Yes, sir. It's the record you. <laughs> oh, we. So I think we got it adjusted. I got it right at 40 pounds. Bill just pulled up. He about to roll out. Let me get a picture of this real quick. Hold on. Bar came loose. Got customer number two, y'all. Probably should have him stop right there. Let's see what he got going on. Hopefully this is a cool dude, man. We ain't, we need some more cool customers. Man, I like the customers that come in and got a cool vibe. Like to talk to us. I'm still sorry about the one dude with the W900. Racist dude came in and left some racist. Left some racist uh, reviews on us and stuff. Let's see what this dude talking about. Hey, how's it going? You call for the one trailer tire? Which one you get done, sir? Inside. You can change it if it's outside, eh? Okay. So you want to put a new one there? Yeah. Which kind of chip are you got? Uh, I got these Iron Man. I think I got the same ones you got on here. 
That's the cheapest one I've got, yep. Okay. Iron Man 480, let me see. I think those ones are like 359. I'm gonna get none that cheap. Wow, Past month. Two, two fifty, what area? Man. What area you? Ulova. You said what? Ulova in Michigan. You said in Michigan? Yeah. I ain't gonna get nothing that cheap. <laughs> um, I got some used ones. If you wanna go to wow. used one, you wanna go to the new one. So yeah, that's the cheapest one I got right there. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and uh, might you pull up, flip around, and pull back on this side right here. Which side? Right here. Okay. Yeah, pull up, flip around, and then put your back tire where that yellow pole is. He said two fifty. He want us to. He want us to lose out on the on the on the, on the tire. He want us to put the tire on and lose money. I thought cheap was 250. Well, you want a tire with 250, you better be buying a whole 16, 20 of them. <laughs> Not just one. That ain't how the game go, man. That is not how the game go. Sweet. Otto, AKA Big Boo. What's good, bro? Where was you at? Where you seeing us back here getting it in? You scared of the Los Santos gym, cuz? What happened to you last night, bro? You didn't get on until 10.30. Talk about my bad. I ain't gonna mess with me on Xbox. Talk about my bad. He ain't even seen an invite to play or no. He just said, my bad. Like he just knew it was too late. Go ahead, jack him up. That that's just his air system. Yep, on the inside right here. You do not want to break these. <laughs> AKA Otto. <laughs> My black I don't know, man. I'll be seeing stuff all over here. Bam, he get one of them Iron Man's, the, the tall stack. He get one of them, not the tall stack, but the, the, the trailer, not the not the steer ones. The back one. Iron Man. Nah, that's the steer one. See, this the steer. Not yeah, that extra this line. The, this the trailer, right? Nah, the trailer is the one that don't got the extra line on. This one? Well, I <laughs> yeah. I ain't see that one right there. I ain't see what you were saying. And then whenever you're ringing somebody out, make sure you click the right one. 19A. Nineteen A Gen two. You ever even get on last night? You ever even get on there last night? Oh, yeah. I was tired. I made that food. Ate. That's what I Sleep.
All right, man, I can go to a burger and come back, okay? Okay, right here. Is you gonna do okay, I think? Yeah. I don't wanna block you, but... <laughs> you said what? I don't wanna block the driveway, but you know... Nah, you good. <laughs> we can still get through, you good. Okay. You coming back, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think he like Russian or something. I think he's Russian or something. The Russians be tall as hell. You got his feet in the air? See, yeah. <laughs> Freaky Zeke, you got his feet in the air. You go ahead, bust him down. Oh. I know what that mean, right? Oh, shit, we steady today. On that steady grind today, man. It feel good out here. It's supposed to get windy. Be a small little windstorm, I think. Hopefully it don't get too crazy out here. Blowing dust and stuff everywhere. We gonna see. It's Peterbilt. Central truck in Chicago. Hey. Hey. Yeah, we take car. Slide up under here, grab a tire from up under here. Is it a chain? Is it a lock on there or anything? Uh, no, no lock. It's a chain on there. Chain. It's in the back, back there, Otto. Slide back there, grab that. It's all the way in the back. This one right here. Swapping this out. What's that? Hey, gearheads. Cars. Tire changing does not have to be a nightmare. Score the slickest two horsepower tire changer combo for 30% off yeah, on passenger vehicle. With smart pressure That's sensors and multiple balance no, modes, don't. tire swaps. We ain't doing no passenger vehicle. Passenger no. Vehicle. no. no sir. With this tire changing machine, anyone can handle tire work. Emma's got not you. <laughs> she needs some sun. <laughs> you said what? Oh yeah, this shoe good. Crispy. I, uh, I got the 360. Which one you got? The GoPro 360. Oh, the GoPro. Th I got the I got the Insta 360. I'm on my second one. I broke my first one. Okay, so that probably worked good for you. I was between that one and the Insta, but I ended up getting the Insta 360 because it was newer, and I had it for a year. Okay. Oh, I put all my stuff on Instagram. Okay, okay, okay. I'm on you. I'm on. I'm on YouTube. I post mainly on YouTube. I be posting on everything. Ah, uh, yeah. Check us out. We do all. We do uh. Dump truck content. Dump truck content. Yep. Tire content. Showing people how they get their CDL and get their own truck and all kind of stuff. Car content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you should be good. You good right there. Definitely. It's right here somewhere. I just marked it. On the other side. I gotta get an alignment on here anyway. I bought the truck right now. Okay. I'm already at 40,000 miles. What on what? Yeah. Are you bought this brand new? Yep. So what, what, miles what year is this? 25. 25? You got the digital dash in here? Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> My dude just got a dump truck. He pulled up and had a digital dash. I'm like, that digital dash different. It is, but then it's uh, like when you, I learned. He said it's weird too, though. It is, it is, bro. Especially because my truck is a uh, manual. So when it, when you 
go through the gears and show you each gear you go through. Uh -huh. But it's like it's lagging the screen. Ah. Uh, and then you can feel it in the, uh, what's it called? So they ain't got it all the way right then. What, you ordered it manual? Yeah. Okay, you, ain't, you said I'm cool on the auto. Yeah, I don't want no auto. It's yeah, supposed to be a windstorm today. After 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 lunchtime, I'm supposed to get uh super windy. How long you been trucking for? Seven years. Seven years. That's what's up. You been doing reefer the whole time. You been doing all no, kind of. I've been everywhere else. I've been doing a lot of other shit. But yeah, what you like the most so far? Reefer. Reefer. Okay. Money, yeah. You been the owner operator the whole seven years? No, hell no. I just became owner operator last year. Last year. How you liking that so far? It's good, bro. It's good. <laughs> this part of the game. Yeah, yeah. What up, Jelly? Yep, yes, sir. Let me get on that. Cause I forgot. All right. Yeah, this is all part of the game right here. Yeah, yep. That's why I tell everybody it ain't all money. You gonna have your good days, you gonna have your bad days. Um, my last trip was 579, white one with a pack car. You, you got Cummins in this one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 505 right now. I want to okay. put more power to it, though. Okay. Because I go through PA all the time. Okay. So going up and down. What was wrong with that pack car? Yeah, Issues. Car. <laughs> <laughs> Junk. That's what I tell everybody. I Don't buy no pack car. They cheap. They cheap for a reason. Yeah, but it ain't You're going to pay for it. Spare. You think it's cheap, but it ain't going to be cheap when you broke down. Spent about $50,000 Six months. That's on the truck. Yeah, that's With crazy. The EGR system. That's crazy. I had to keep taking the EGR system to somebody else every time. Same. Once I went to a dealer. Because you moving around car. everywhere. Yeah, so it was like, fuck. And every time I had to get told, All right. that's just more money. Yeah. And then every time they go to clean it out or go fix it or do whatever. That's already ten grand because it's already sitting there. That's what I tell guys, man. You gotta calculate all the bad stuff. You can't just hop in this game thinking it's gonna be all gravy. The game is a hustle. Man. You don't know that. It's a real hustle. It ain't just gonna fall in your lap, and it ain't gonna be passive at all. <laughs> Especially like when they tell you start off, make sure you got ten grand saved up. Right. Hell no, nah, you need more than that. For sure, because you don't know what's gonna break. Yeah, you don't. And shit's so expensive now. It's, it's 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 insane. These parts and shit done went up triple from right. when I started. Fuck that. How long you been doing it? I started. I got my CDL in 2012. I bought my first truck in 2013. Okay. And you yeah. love it? Love it. Love it. But I've been in a dump truck, and I I went over the road for six months when I first started. Okay. Then when I I couldn't I couldn't get approved for no semi, I ended up finding the old dump trucks. I'm like, shit, I got to do what I got to do. And then once I got in the dump truck, I'm like, shit, that's all I want to do. I'm cool on. Just make it work. Yeah, I'm cool on the road. That's all it is. You got to make it work. Make it work. See, I see you hauling a reefer. I said reefer, damn, it got the best rates right now on the freight. That drive and I had some drive vans, but I got rid of them because I wasn't making no money. I had a couple right when around COVID time. I had two. And then it just started getting worse. And Word. worse, and I'm like, shit, I'm losing money. And I end up just getting rid of them, sticking with all dumb trucks. Yeah, it's because it's low, it's easier to maintain. It's local, we only go about an hour away, home every night, and we're still making good money. You said what? It's like about an hour. Driver, I pay my drivers about an hour, but all the jobs we're doing right now, I, I do most of the hourly jobs. I don't like doing no uh, tonnage jobs or nothing like that. You good? Need them specs, better get them uh, them safety glasses. <laughs> it's only going to get worse. It's supposed to be like 30, 30 mile per hour winds this afternoon. Shit, that's what it felt like last night coming uh. uh, come through Fort Wayne. Ah, yeah, that's windy out through there. Indiana, Chicago, yeah, Illinois, yeah, all that. All the way across. Yeah. It's like you're going to blow over. I know that. I used to haul back and forth from uh, from here, Columbus, to Chicago. I was on that uh, account for Warner. I used to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You worked there, too? I had the expedited account going from uh, Chicago to Pittsburgh. Uh-huh. Back and forth every other night. Trash. And my driving manager was younger than me, because at the time, he was, he was 19, and I was 21. Damn. 
And then by that time, I can go over the road, but then right. I got my license from 19. Ah, you got yours early then. Yeah. Where you from? Chicago. Chicago? Ah, okay. Originally from Belize. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. So that's why. And after that, I was like, nah, I can't do this shit. I'm trying right. to manage a younger than me. All right, and he right. talking shit to me about right. what I'm doing. And <laughs> nah. hey, they used to hate me over at one because I used to talk reckless. Like, I'll bring y'all this truck. I'll leave this truck right here. <laughs> Same shit I told him. Like, bro, y'all tripping. Y'all got nah, me sitting here. I ain't making no money. Shit. I said that one time. I let that bitch at the truck stop right here. In, uh, what's the name? It was there for like two weeks. They calling me, calling me, calling me. <laughs> we gonna report. We gonna report you to the police. And call, I'm like, shit, y'all ready to talk up, now? Shit. Y'all ready to talk now? They like, yeah, man. What, what, what we gotta do to get you to come back to work? Come back. Shit. I said I need some stuff done in my truck. They said, so I'm gonna take it to the nearest uh um terminal. terminal. I took that motherfucker uh, Springfield. Yeah. I took dropped that motherfucker off and never came back. <laughs> um, cool. I went. I worked for Hogan after that for two weeks. That didn't work out either. They had me going. They had me going East Coast. They put me in this small ass. Try went from a full sleeper to like one of them baby sleepers. Then they had me in all these crazy spots. I said, Oh yeah. I parked their truck at the, at the truck stop too. I holla at y'all. Y'all talking about some more money? They're like, well, where you going? We going? I'll bring you y'all's truck back. And I end up getting the dump truck. But yeah, that's what I be doing on the on the on the YouTube, trying to show guys how to how the game go. A lot of people think it's just gravy. You get in and you gonna make a whole bunch of money starting out. I'm like, yeah, it kind of ain't like that. You gotta learn the game first and figure out a way. Everybody like, hey, I'm gonna get in the truck, and get in the truck. You gotta be built for it. <laughs> Better be built for it. Better, better be ready. You see how many times I'm never at home at this point. Yeah. Home. See, that's that's why. My crib. Yeah, yeah, that's this road. Home. That road, a bad boy. That's why once I figured out the dump truck game, I'm like, yeah, I'm cool on that. On that road. I did that six months straight. I'm like, nah, but see, I'm I got spoiled. Enough, right. We used to race cars and shit. So okay. Driving, especially coming from <laughs> driving is blood. Right, right. In there, in there. I done seen it all. I done seen somebody run over wrenches, big ass boats. This the first knife I done see. This the first knife. Roll it down and show y'all this knife in here. There you go. Knife. Glad you know, because most motherfuckers are like, man, somebody got me. <laughs> somebody was trying to take me out. <laughs> the truck stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, it went straight through. As soon as you ran you it over. It you said what? You can take it out. Try to. You gotta buy a brand new tire. Ah, so they gonna still charge you for that for that for using Hell that spare yeah. tire. Hey, I still gotta buy a brand new tire from. Huh? Yes, there is. <laughs> Somebody just had some get stolen off a truck. He had to buy six of them. No, four of them. Imagine it was damn near a thousand apiece for the steers. What happened to you? Yeah, no, he parked in a bad spot. No, he's on the park there. He was in the truck or he oh, left the truck? Oh, yeah. They were watching him. He kept parking there. Unless you pass by, other than that. Yeah. Most of them, when he got the truck, he got the truck for a minute. He ain't coming back for a minute. He got that truck after riding for a while. Yeah, that's a that's a lick. I just know they out here messing something up, y'all. I like the igni- the, igni- the initiative, though. But I just know y'all out here fucking it up worse. Hey, shit, I thought I was doing something, bro. I, I pulled 
was over at Brooks Brothers to the post back to the parking lot real quick because I was stuck in the mic. It's like, take this up to the post from the back, man. I'm about to struggle with that thing. I ain't doing nothing. Because you got to loosen it up and then... What, loosen that, loosen that boat up from the back? No, <laughs> my. Where it come loose at, though? I don't know. It just shit. I was going around uh it's great. Stelter Cassidy and I look back and I see this thing. I'm like, what the hell? But then I look at everybody. It else. should be two clips. Where the other clip at? Bro, we ain't fucking nothing up, bro. Yeah, I don't know. It, it. And balls put up on me. It's like, man, don't even roll it back. That's why I don't know. Alright, pull it. Let me take it all the way up. Nah, don't take it all the way out. Then you gotta get it all the way back in. That's cool. Let's look the other find, side off. Why don't you just find something to twist that up? Trying to pull it. Let's look, if we get all the way off, we could just boot and then screw it in there. Let's see. Let's see. Yes. Yeah, that's how we need to do it. Put the booter to, to get it adjusted. We need to hold this side too, though. Watch out. This, this one we don't want to come out right here. Oh, that's what I want to come out. That's what we don't want to come out. We need to take all this shit apart and get it back in there. Let's get that to come out. There we go. Saw so, that needs to be up. Needs to be done. Stuck. So, clamp that. We're going to put a clamp on here for uh, so over there. Let's see what we have on the first time. We got no pliers. There's some vice grips on the floor. By the truck. There's some vice grips right there. Let's try that right there. <laughs> this motherfucker too big for what we doing. We need that small baby. This girl right here for the big boats. I don't worry about that though. We need to get this tight first. I said put the, the other clamp. Yeah, that, that's what I meant right here. Put that on there. He bought the AK-47 now. Fuck the AK. He bought the motherfucker. <laughs> Street sweeper. <laughs> he said, I got my file. <laughs> <laughs> Like, man, what happened? I don't know. Somebody still over there stealing my tools. You know, I don't know. Y'all ain't allowed back over there. Just make a post on Facebook. <laughs> right. Who got the tools? Some bigger don't get the hit. And you're like, what you need? Yeah, I got a whole bag of money. Nah, they like, what you need? I'm telling them what you man, need. Man, that's mine. That's two days. That's two days later, we'll be like, calling. you like, shit, I got it right here. <laughs> it's just like RS on it. Where does my shit? And these guys are trying to kill me, man. I need somewhere to hide out. I said, you can't hide out here. Take your ass home. You're like, this ain't even my car. The girl's car is. I went to jail. They're trying to kill him, honey. He came, he came up here. here huh? He came up here. He came up here, bro. I should have told him to get in the cabin over there. Mike can take his ass home. <laughs> I don't even know you, bro. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why. Oh, what you filming the sky? Nah, I got you. See see yeah. He know what he's doing. He's a professional. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know it. Hopefully, this bitch is the right spot. We got the main man on the job. 
like we missing something. For the job. Three. Did it ever start raining? A little bit. It started sprinkling, man. It's about to, it, it's about to hit when it hit. Probably not even this shit, though. Look at the clouds. Yeah. Scatter showers or something. Scatter showers. A little bit out here. Right. A little bit as heck. Yeah, it do. I'm sick of dealing with this tarp. As soon as I get some time, I got all these new plastic pieces. Yeah. I got the new end pieces. Really ain't been messing up, though, has it? Nah, I ain't been messed up to the day. That's to why the, I ain't touched it. The, I'm like, uh, yeah, it been working good, man. The wind up and shifted it, man. I look, I look, I can see the. Right there, look under the seat, nigga. What you doing? Right there. I can see. Under your boot. Look under the seat. 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 Look under the Oh, it's over here. I'm gonna stick it in here in the ink. Yeah, I thought it was just like a regular tarp. Probably, I was like, man, I got it. There, like, you cut. I'm like, you cut it right, bro. <laughs> Tell me, boy, it's over. Oh, he cut you like you off the job? Yeah, he dropped right still... around. He's playing around. Ah. <laughs> I didn't stop anywhere. Go ahead, I don't know. Wrong way. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yep, all the way through. It's tight on there now. Yeah, it's on there. Too man. tight. Take it all the way back. Put them back in there. There you go. There you got it right there. Yes, sir. Y'all see what's going on. That's how you fix a tarp one on one. Yeah. Take him all the way back. Mike gonna be calling me. Man, this tarp done came off. Got the shifting left and like Mark. And man, bro, there was a tornado out there, bub. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why I came loose. Keep going. Yeah, bro, I'm, I'm telling you, everybody's stuff. I, I seen your whole, uh, uh, I don't know what. what that's why I be telling these goofy motherfuckers when you ain't loaded, man, close it. Don't ride with it. Oh, with it yeah, back yeah, for no yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah. Y'all did. All right, go, go ahead, back. And uh, I can see it when I pulled up to the job site. I can see my tarp all the way up here. I'm like, Doing the balloon, the parachute. Yeah, yeah, the parachute. <laughs> <laughs> I feel my fucking miss now. Yeah. Yeah, very, very calm. Keep going. All right, leave it right there. Freaky Zeke. Hey, you tarp certified, cuz. You got this motherfucker together. Hey, he did too. He told me. He like this is the problem. He came yeah, and diagnosed it and everything. No way, sure this is going on. Tight. Like back in the club, back up. Let's back it up. Back in the pudding. Kids gonna blow away. <laughs> kids in them costumes about to blow away, boys. Windy and rainy. Hey, Otto, go ahead, pull this in the garage. Pull this in the garage. Nah, just pull the pickup truck. Nah. Hey, he ain't even gonna be able to get it from right here. He's gonna be stuck right there. <laughs> He ain't even gonna get to move. I'll see, man. At that done, I'm about to write these checks. We might be able to get up out of here early today, y'all.
Go play some of that Call of Duty. How I done bought Call of Duty? I ain't even played it. I don't know. Convince me to buy. I ain't even here. Tell you, man, you gonna get on Call of Duty? I'm too tired. And the one time I get on there, the two times I try to get on there, he ain't even on there. He calling me to get on. He don't never show up. Got that done, that done. We missing the truck, ain't we? Boy, Ryan ain't back yet. Once Ryan get back, over with. You trying to do, bro? One on one. Put a dub on it. Put a dub on it. First to five. We gonna just wait and set that up next year, bro. Season about over. Ain't no sense even putting that up. You can tell that ain't been outside. outside. It's about to be weathered real fast. Watch. Headlight out. You need a headlight. You need to fix that. Bam. You remember, you remember what headlight it take? It's a big headlight. Right, you go buy some. This headlight always go out. What's going on? That's the brights of the regular. The light, the hair light out. This is a hair light. Always oh, going up. Huh? Ah, so they come on? I ain't gonna fuck with it then. Probably just loose or something. Something in there loose. I got that. Uh, I'll give you a check too. Damn, we can lock this shit down, Otto. Shut him down, shut him down. Just got to get you on TV. Uh, <laughs> What's yeah, going I'm on? still here with Jim. Yes, sir. Dude said he going to call me. Looking for the parts now. I'm okay. still going to try to get the parts. Had them secure first. Day, but when we when get the parts, it just take like one day to do it or some shit. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. That's good. It's just they, they don't make them parts no more. They Something, something about them parts. So. It might take us a few days to find them, but... Uh, <laughs> you're going to find them, I know. You're going to find them. Yeah, yes, sir. We're going to figure it out. But, yeah, we just use it as less as possible. You feel me? Okay. That way it don't break. Okay. Huh? Sure. He said he fixed it. Should be good. Let me know. Yes, sir. Let me know. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's It's cold out here. Cold, cold, y'all. hoodie on y'all I'm cold I'm cold as hell
that chilly, y'all. Had that good weather. Now it's back. Time to bring them thermals out, you feel me? What he over here talking about, y'all? Chilly out here. What are you over here talking about, y'all? Son, right there. Y'all see what's going on, man. We, we recording all day. Life is a stage. Y'all know what it is. Let's go. Jenny's boys. Well, Bill driving. Who is Bill? Huh? Ah, he driving that Mac. What you want? The one right there. You left yet? Somebody had to start it because I had the hood open. Bill started my truck. Must have went to the store or something. I don't know. You sure? Man, I had that hood. I popped that hood this morning. Man, I'm saying he was he, here. He started my truck. He must have went to the gas station or something. I don't know. Eight o'clock start. How you ain't going to no gas station? He ain't gonna do that. Let's see. My phone. Out. You know what I'm saying? I'm already late. I'm about to put this car over. This car in the garage. Huh? All right. Man, we didn't have to come over here to the plant real quick. You know, Pops, all that talking he was doing, he done left his... He done left his GoPro. I know y'all want that Pops, that Pops content, so I had to shoot over here to the plant. Bring him a GoPro. But that sun coming up, boy. Sun is coming up. And it's chilly. Hopefully it warm up some. I want to pull the bed out today. I need to. It's dirty as heck. I need to detail it and clean it, then put it back up in the garage. I need to detail and clean this uh, dually truck too. This dually. This dually pretty filthy too. Got truck staged up everywhere. I'm ready to go haul that hot rod. See what's going on and that pump that that, that that plant smoking baby plant smoking all right you missed little charleston white right there in the dump truck Huh? You said Charleston White. Yeah, you didn't say get out. Which one? Yeah, he, he back in the truck now. He drive that yeah. little tandem when you ride past, creep right, past. Okay. He got that little tandem right there. Use the uh, mount. Make sure you huh? use. But said make sure you use that mount. I'm gonna use the mount. I always pull up on the mount game. You know what I'm saying? What you, what you about to do? Go back to the yard. Yeah. You said what? Back to the yard. Chuggy shit right there. Tell you got that Kimbo. He got both this shit out right. Yeah, I ain't gonna do nothing load up. Buddy coming back, that's all good. Uh, that was Patrick calling me and said, which way do I go? I said, nigga, you better hit 310. Don't cut through them streets. That's what's that's, that's two points off the license plus that ticket. That's what that was. He already got caught. Let's go on up to 310. Climb the hill. That's what I'm gonna do. Take my time. Get to this bag. Work y'all's ass up. We already woke. Get that money. All right, be safe. All right. I still want to know what Cubs did yesterday. At the plant? I think oh, he, he came in right here. Oh, yeah, he probably did something. That's it. The only thing he could have did. Yeah. All right, it's on. All right. All right, shall we head back to the Yizar? Supposed to have some customers pull up, but they ain't pulled up. He said Charleston White in here, y'all. Let me get the. <laughs> He's stupid. He do do. I'm weak as hell. They loading that asphalt up. It's the asphalt side. That's one of our trucks right there getting loaded. Must be Jelly Roll. High rock, baby. Let's get up out of here, y'all. Back to the yard to get this bag, man. It's Freaky Friday. We about to get freaky with this money. Y'all see what's up? 
at the plant, plant action, man. We're gonna get to this bag this morning, early morning bag. Cold out, chilly Billy. It's chilly Billy out here, baby. But we're gonna get this money, man, because it's getting time to cut down. We probably got about five, six weeks and it's over for us. So you boys in the hot lands and down in North Carolina and all that getting that money, man. Y'all keep getting that money, man. But uh, it's about to be shut down for them Jenner's boys for the winter. Unless some dirt come. Then we uh we back shuckling shackling, baby. Y'all see what's going on, man. Man, hot rock. Bad time, chilly Philly. Let's go. Jenner's boys. Coming up on the job site. Yeah. Coming up on the job site. Jelly Roll, what we doing? Doing a loop around and backing up in there? We're coming from behind him. Down this one. here earlier in the years earlier in the year we worked up here putting all this in now we probably putting some coats on when they really i think when they really get all the way done we'll come back and put that last coat on i'm thinking that it looks like that we shall see y'all see what's going on man they put us on hold for a minute it's cold out here i went ahead and tarped that shit back up because it's cold out here jelly rolling out bill right there and uh shit, we're gonna hold for a minute and then uh we're gonna crank again. What do you say? We holding for a minute? Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna hold for a minute, then we're gonna crank up again here in a minute. Can you hire a new driver? Which one? The woman? Julie? The woman? She been out here? Yeah. Yeah, she she been with us about probably a couple months. Yeah. Julie, yeah, 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 yeah. She ain't bad driver, she's all right. Uh, out Zanesville, I think. What's, what's on the other side of uh, Zanesville? Uh, take third, third. New Lex. Somewhere in there, yeah, yeah, New Lex. I think she up in that area. Yeah. I don't know, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know. I just got down there, Julie. That's down my stomping ground. Yeah, 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 she, she, she good old girl, man. She, she drive pretty good, show up every day. That's all I can ask for. I had to, uh, you know, some come, some go. I have to do what I got to do. What's going on, though? She over there on that doge. I had to hit that Porter John right there. My ass was out. They got us on hold. I was going to piss myself, but uh, I made it in time. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's uh, 
Get back to the job. Get some shit done. Y'all see what we are doing. We out here back out here on this Intel shit like I just said, man. Getting to this money. They about to crank that paver up. And we're gonna move along. It's cold though. We about out of we running out of time, folks. We running out of time for the winter hitters. Y'all see it. Yeah, them boys down there, they're gonna butt that joint off down there. The boys down through here rolling. It's only 35, man. It's only 35. The boys be coming down through here doing about 50, 60. Man, man, God damn it! Y'all see what's up. They gonna butt that joint off right there. We probably gonna start right here at this line right here and start pulling this, pulling this roundabout real quick. That's what it's looking like. As soon as they butt that joint off. Look like they've been doing them uh them, them uh, uh bike bicycle uh uh path too. We, we was doing that earlier in the year too. We worked over here a lot earlier in the year. You know what I'm saying? Then they skipped us off to a whole lot of other shit. Then we coming back over here now. Y'all see that Intel shit going down over there still. So we're still uh still booking and cooking. I don't think that shit gonna stop. That shit might go all winter. They might haul some dirt over there all winter. Look at that track hole over there on the top. Y'all see the track hole on the top of that mountain over there. So that whole mountain might have to go over the winter. See, that's what they do. They'll push that shit back until it get cold outside. Then we'll start hauling dirt. I can't haul dirt because of, I can't haul dirt. What I'm going to do, if I got to haul dirt this year, I'm going to take that piece up there, that top piece. See the screws? I'm going to take that off. Then that dirt will fall right off the top of there. It won't fuck that shit up up there. won't mess that up. So <coughs> if I got to haul dirt, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll take that off and uh, uh, put it back on when it's time to haul some more hot rock. Still get this money. Cause I don't mind working through the work. Put me a bigger coat on. Big baby, big baby startup got good heat. Everything she cranked right up. So uh, you know we gotta run our winter. We gonna run our winter. Ain't nothing else to do. Nothing else to do. Get back from Florida. February, January is a, is a no go. We don't run it all in January. We try to shut down the whole month of January to sit back and relax and gather your thoughts and everything that you went through for the season. You know what I'm saying? You need that. Need that? Look at that tack. Usually that tack would be click click all on your t sticking to your feet and shit. But uh, no, nah, no, nah, nah, it's cold out here. I'll tell you right now, it's probably about forty something going on fifty degrees. <coughs> it's got to be a certain temperature for us to be able to lay some hot rock. So it ain't that cold, but it's cold. Bill, Bill started my truck up earlier. Put his phone on on the wheel. Forgot his phone was on the wheel and broke it. So I get to work. I'm like, man, we're feeling it. Ow! I don't know, man. I said, well, shit, he just was here. I talked to him, started my truck up. He said, I don't know. Get them guider boys right there. Guider, guider. Steve-O, you watching this, man. I know that was you, man. You always out this way. Uh, and, and got a board on there and say some dirt or some gravel, man. You need to have some dirt or gravel on there, man. Stay some boards and let you control your boards up or head into the board shop. Big boot with the big loot. What you trying to take some, uh, you trying to build you a, uh, <laughs> you trying to craft you a, uh, you at the craft stand. <laughs> what we doing with this, patching it? How's it going, man? Huh? We got a knife in this one. <laughs> that one, that one. Oh, that's a that look like a hex boat or something. What? Hell no, nah, that ain't gonna work. Him up. You already got any mark on the inside? Mm -hmm. see. That motherfucker's long, man. I don't see where yeah. the hole
or those two? That one, no, that one and this one. That one and this one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we might back up just a little bit. A little bit? Yep. Shit, bro. It ain't going on. I ain't ready for this coat and shit. Oh, yeah, them bucket bottles about to be mink coats and, and fur coats, man. This one, man. Big Kenworth. Got motion today. Coming for the loves. Coming for the loves. We're at back to 24 over here. Yep, yes, sir. Big motion in the ocean. We got an oversized truck. Heavy hauling. Heavy hauling Kenworth. Like 24s, 22. Woo! Oh, yeah, he cut up right there. Shoot up. Oh shit! <laughs> I seen that. This. This on my damn carry on my. Fuck is that? You want to call Ned Page at? Hey. Oh, yeah. I'll do. I'll do the fridge because I see the page. I'll do the fridge because Show up instantly. Yeah. Nope, still nothing. Still nothing? Nope. 21.5, yep. Yeah, still nothing. Ah. Yeah, that's the only one we got. That's the one, that's what he yep. said to put on? Okay. Yep. I told him, 16 I said, I don't know. Yep. Don't ask me. Yeah, I, I told him what it was. Yeah. Here. 16 ply. Like if he was going to do a road trial, I'd have to wait about a while. Four years to get out there. You stop at Taylor, I'll go right now. I had to love it. Uh, okay, right. I don't like drop traders. No, I told him we could. 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 That's what I tell everybody. Said, said you had to go out there to do it. Yep. And I was thinking, well, fuck, I can't they go didn't kick, the curve. They so. done kicked me out of there two times. <laughs> oh, really? I was right next to the shop. As soon as they so see the truck. Kicked out again. Yeah, as soon as they see the truck. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, ah, no. But nobody has a fucking 16 fly tire anymore. Were they all 14? heavy hot truck tires. I try to stock all 16 ply. This is just a better tire overall, even if you're hauling heavy or not. <laughs> even if you're not heavy, yeah. Even if you're not hauling heavy, most of these trucks are still hauling heavy. If you're not heavy hauling, you still. But it's like now they had over there 14. Right. A lot of the low pros are 14, but I still try to keep 16 in low pros too. I just looked out, I punched in semi truck tires. You popped up on it. I told my guy, I said, "Hey, call this people. I said, see if they got anything." I said, "It says." JD's we get, truck we get, tires. We, so get, we get people from Love's all day, every day. So I said, you know, call them to verify. I said, right. hey, my ass. How long is they wait time at Love's? Not, not long. Not long? Okay. Because I would have been the next. Uh, 
usually four they hours. They didn't even have none. Uh, uh, you want to okay. Frame and spring. Frame and spring. Frame and spring uh, ink. I see you back. I'll tell you another time we're having a hard time to find this. What size is that one? 315. 315? <laughs> we don't stock those, but I can usually get them same day. Oh, okay. I'll make damn sure tell my guys and when any driver come through here to call you guys up. Appreci you guys the list. Appreciate that. Let me see here. You know, the, the loves, don't them, loves don't give a fuck. Well, they, they carry for what? Their company says. Exactly. Oh, they got guys in there. They come to work and go home. They don't give a fuck about anything else. Well, they got like a good year national count and all kinds of counts. But okay. He's like, hey, so tell him when you're done. Call him. I'll give him a check number and all that. Cool. Well, what you got in the front here? What year is this truck? It's a nice truck. Is that a what? Brand new. Brand new. Yeah, the, this one got the digital dash. Digital. How, how do you how do you like it? Because everybody's saying it's, it looks sweet, but it's, it's, it's glitchy. Right, but it's got like a glitch. Glitch. Like, That's you'll what be everybody's saying it. It'll go real dark. Right. Like, you can see it. You can right. see it, but you just black. Right. Then it'll back up, and I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> then you hit the damn dark button and the light button, and it don't fucking work. And then oh, when it goes bright again, it goes real bright, and you're like, what the fuck, go down All right, 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 right. It's like, fuck, it's That's a nice truck, though. It's all right. What you hauling? Pretty much everything? Yeah. Well, right Anything a, big and oversized? I got a 70,000 pound machine up there. Ah. Yeah, we we get a oversized load here and there. I went dip. That's what I got on. Ah, okay. Where, the, where the heck is that going? <laughs> you don't even know what that is, do you? <laughs> yeah. It's a drive pod assembly. Drive pod assembly. Going to Florida with it. What part of Florida you got to go to? Pretty much all the way down to fucking like, Miami, south of Daytona. Okay. Well, not Daytona, but south of Orlando. Okay, okay, okay. Cape Cavern. Cape Cavern. Going to the NASA space. Ah, NASA. okay. <laughs> it hauls the rockets. Okay. The little rockets, or the big rockets they haul around. Yep. That's what it hauls. Oh, so you're going to the, the bit where they blast the rockets off there, right there in Florida. Uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Talking about fucking acting Congress, get in there. <laughs> I can only imagine. They had to know my birthday, my height, my weight. I asked him, I was like, my dispatcher, I was like, you want my shoe size? You want my pants size? Right. He went, no, he just asked for the, I was like, well, goddamn, I asked for the weight, the height. <laughs> He's like, how tall are you? Six foot. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Check. I take my car. I might have you grab this, uh, that trailer piece. Wait on Mike to kind of like, we might have to go somewhere else to get it. This car, when you have to leave there, frame and screen. Come when you leave in frame of screen. Oh, I don't know if that truck got gas in it or not. Alright. Yeah, it's a nice truck. Brand new. It's a double. Uh, I don't understand why I did it. Yeah, just order them. Alright, probably like two dollars a piece or something. I gotta look online. It's got a couple bro. The people really do be asking for it. Extension. They want the Glock with the extension. <laughs> hey, like, like, the one y'all put in there is short, I can't reach it. Well, that's the normal size one. That's a lot. The, the extenders. Uh, Let me check. I done forgot all about you. <laughs> Good to go. Yep, they can print it out. Yep. You want to? One second.
What? So you might have a warranty on it. The uh, I depend on where you got it from and come out good year and oh yes, you ain't getting no, you ain't getting no so, warranty on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, it came, you yeah, it it came out of Kenworth. Kenworth right. I don't know if they want me. They say you think about that. You got a bathroom. Yeah, you can come right in. He didn't say you had to call him to see, but he didn't tell me anything. He just said put a new one on there. That's all he told me. Oh. Uh, Bathroom's right here. No problem. You're all set, sir. I appreciate you. Oh, Ed, you said you sent him one of that? Yeah, he's got a copy of that, too. Okay. Yep. Making sure because if he did, I had to get it. Ah, yep, yep, yep. You're all set. Thank you. Let's look this up. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> boy, you be playing, boy. What make you think I know what to do? Cause he was like, we gotta take this off, gotta take this off. All you gotta do is take this line off. I gotta take this little boat off before it come off. Right here. That's it. This screws out. Where the white tape at? That's See how we take to the air though, right? Yeah, we gotta That's take the all the air out. Yeah, you gotta take all the air out first. That's Kill the air. Yeah, take this off, boot. Unbolt, unbolt those. Bolt the new one on her, bolt them back up, bolt the line back on there, get ready. Swap the end out on the hose. Easy peasy. Make a bill on his way back. The tack truck backed into him on the job. Why you keep coming back, bro? Tack truck backed into him, hit him. Fuck the whole bumper up. Radiator leaking. Oh man, we out here hustling out here on this Intel job. Goddamn it, moving around. Sala said he didn't been he didn't been home. He went home to Africa and back. Took the family home to Africa and back. See, he said he happy now. You know what I'm saying? He said here work. Home there. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Show us kids something else, man. That's what he want, man. So he told me he was going to do that a while back. So he said he was gone for a month. I didn't even know he was gone because I've been on nights. They said he was gone for a month, man. Said he, said, said he had a good time. All right, what was the weather like? Beautiful, man. Beautiful weather, huh? Beautiful. Hell Cold, yeah, man. Huh? Hotness. None of that. Just perfect weather. Perfect. I heard that. I heard that shit. Hey, is the animals like they say over there? You can see the animals or that, that's lie, bullshit, man. ain't it, man? Right, man. Hey, no, hey, hey, no, goddamn, hey, hey, no giraffes and shit walking hell around no, and shit. Only no. reason why I thought of that it's shit, better I, than here, man. huh? It's better than here, man. Yeah, I, I, can people, man. I can believe that. I can believe that. I can believe that. You're living the best life, man. Yeah, I can believe cheap. that. Yeah, cheap, very cheap. cheap. Yeah, I can believe that, bro. I can believe that. Yeah. This shit over here is, this shit over here is erupted. All fucked up. It's crazy. Yeah, be safe, man. Yep. Yeah, y'all see what's going on, man. We get done, man. Sala said he went to Africa, came back. Shit, he said he going back in a couple months and uh, uh, keep it moving. Smacked you, huh? Oh, hell yeah. And, I'm leaking and you leak and a freeze. Yeah, that went all the way back into the radiator. Yeah, it popped it back into the... Popped it back into the radiator. How did he figure that was just a regular hit? Ain't no regular hit, bro. Yeah, that's it.
Let's see what's going on with this truck, man. It got hit out there on the job. Tack truck backed into him. Got tack on the bumper. This bumper done. It's about impossible to. At least it didn't get the hood. Let's see, some leaking, got radiator fluid leaking. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, ticket. What? Ticket. What's ticking? The motor. You said the motor ticking? It just start ticking like when that happened? On the way back, they put like 16 and a half on And they wasn't doing that today, just the dude just backed into it. Quick and easy. Quick and easy, baby. It's over with. At least somebody had an easy day today. What's wrong with your day? I swear to God. What do you mean hit by a truck? God damn! Yeah. A truck hit you? Yeah. It went your fault? Uh, that's rare, ain't it? In the front? Mm -hmm. The uh, spray truck man came backed up. He tried to sit there and say, up two or three uh, dump trucks. Uh, link I said, oh, there ain't no way in hell that I moved two to three truck links out the office. Leaking something? What'd he hit? What'd he fuck up? Oh, something leaking. You see it leaking? Yeah, I see some, uh, something leaking. 
Doing some weird shit. What's cracking? What you find? I found one bolt on the exhaust manifold that was loose. I tightened it up. That sound still going? I don't hear nothing. Come on with me. Probably doesn't have a fire though. <laughs> so it's aired up already? Well, you got it up. Hell yeah, we want to ride. Ride off into the sunlight. Hey, close the hood. You better ride. Dirty ass oh. motherfuckers, man. Damn, this truck's nasty. It looked like the front seat of your truck. No, it don't. <laughs> it might look like the back seat. Drinking that shit at six o'clock? You gonna be up all night? I can sleep when I'm dead. Are you sweet? I can't even drink though after a certain. I don't even. I don't. I can't even drink them at all no more. I can't sleep off that shit. I, or I fall asleep good, then I wake up and be up. Like I fall asleep for a little bit, for like three hours. Ago. Then be up like a motherfucker. Can't go back to sleep up all the middle of the night. Like damn, I can't sleep. I can't. Oh. It's loose. Was. So you have it done by three o'clock tomorrow? <laughs> when you want me to bring it over there? Uh, bring it over Monday. All right. You be able to get done Monday? Hopefully. All right. Done Monday. Back in back on the road Tuesday. I need him back in the truck. You ain't seen nothing else though. Didn't think got fucked up. The, the rails for this bumper, the bracket for this bumper didn't get fucked up or nothing. I have to order this bumper. And a light bar. We doing a bumper. You don't. I think it's just the way it spreads out like that. All right. But this bumper uh, should be easy. No tweaks or nothing. It didn't tweak nothing. Doesn't look like it. Cause you know, it look. It don't look like it until you go take that motherfucker off, yeah, and now you're like, man. Yeah, like, it's gonna go like that. Right. And this right here. We done taped it now. Close that down, Otto. How much this bumper gonna be? Five, six, seven hundred. Bring that bitch about her. Bring that bitch back in. They can fuck these lights up too. Hell yeah, them are fucking. Crack and Nah. <laughs> Look at that. That one. Okay, then. That's tack. You hit it with the tack truck. Boom. It's tack on there. It's tacked. Imagine if you had a nice, pretty truck. New truck. New shiny truck. Sick. Hey, these Max is beast though. Cause any other truck, it might have fucked up way more. And upon a time, this was a nice, pretty truck. And he didn't get into the to the to the hood at all either. It's better the bumper than the hood for sure. Oh, absolutely. Hood. That means you going straight into the condenser, the the the, the radiator. The hood gonna be messed up. Them hoods expensive. I feel like once you change them, they never fucking work the same again. I ain't gonna lie to y'all though, it's time to go. It's time to go. I'm ready to go to the house and chill. We ain't working tonight. For real, we chill, chill, mom. Nah, not unless somebody called. I couldn't get away with saying nothing. What you about to do? Go home and chill. Go home and chill. I got work tomorrow. Yeah, we working tomorrow. <laughs> we working tomorrow.
We working tomorrow. Airport red lot. Hopefully get some of that. Get some more of that engine swap done. I yeah, no, that's a pain. Yeah, somebody was supposed to come by this Western Star on Tuesday. Like, I'm coming. I'm, I can come Saturday, but the banks. I get, I'm like, oh, shit. You can come give me a check, but I'm gonna keep the title until the check here to the to the cashier's check clear because we can't confirm. Oh, I just come Tuesday then. So hopefully you come cash me out on Tuesday. Cash me outside. Straight like that. I'm gonna go buy something else straight like that. That truck ain't to drive, it's to sell. I'm about to get me a steel bed. Steel bed. You get you another automatic? No, not yet. If I go automatic, I'm just going to get some new shit, you feel me? Because it's about impossible to find some older automatic stuff. Uh, if I'm going to get back in the truck again, I'm just going to buy what the hell I got for Facts. Anything. Hey, if that Western started didn't sell, I was about to uh, yank that bed off, turn it into a quad, and get a steel bed for it. Said, wow. wow, be the hardest, whatever, fuck up, be hard. I Shorten it up. Done none of that. I would have took 18 out of it, put an 8 in it, and called it a day. It's too long. I don't like how big it is. Uh -uh, I'd put another axle the on. jobs we doing? I wouldn't, that wouldn't have been a, an asphalt truck for me. I'd oh, put yeah. We That's doing asphalt. I'd have put a steel bed on that motherfucker. Shorten it up to a quad. I'd put one of those steel beds with the lights down the side. Uh uh. Yep. I'd have put another axle on it. And it, uh, really, really good. I took one of them axles and put it right here on Superman. Boop. <laughs> Fly the hand. <laughs> Facts, real quick. Um, I'm about, I might, I'm thinking about, I don't know. I want to buy another truck for the season, but at the same time, I'll be going into the off season. But it's always good to have a nice, solid extra truck ready to go. Or, just maybe, or. You could just sell that truck, hold on the money, and just see what deals happen to appear. We can still catch them too. Yeah, I just want to jump on anything. That's what it seems like. Everybody this year just jumping on stuff. I'm like, I never oh. jump on anything. I know you don't. I'm just like, <laughs> I go to buy some shit. I'm going to inspect it, drive it, think about it, and then <laughs> this dude bought a little offer you a He's price like, I want to pay for. Ten grand for it. And I said, yep, and it needs twenty five grand put back into it. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> this thing is a pile. Just like that one side for that suspension. The parts is alone almost six thousand. So imagine the whole suspension. Yeah. Just put that rear end in there. Shit add up quick. Real quick. Josie, what's going on? We're going into the weekend. We're working tomorrow. We're not working tonight. We're chilling tonight. We're back at it tomorrow. Back at it. Hopefully, we get some tire calls tomorrow. We can make some tire money, some extra money on the weekend. I'm going to be up here tomorrow and probably Sunday. Oh, yeah. Sunday, we're doing a podcast again, episode three. So, yeah, we're going to be up here, man. So, stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, that post notification bell, man. Like the video. Y'all been playing on the likes. Go like the video, man. Run the likes up. Um, if y'all ain't entered the giveaway yet, go enter the giveaway. It's only a dollar to enter. If you want a new truck or GPS, it's a Garmin 8 inch, I think 810. I forget the model number. If y'all want that, man, go on the link in the description. Go join the giveaway. $1 to join. Or you can spend a dollar, or you can spend four dollars, or you can spend more dollars. Whatever, how many ever inches you want, get in on it. Get that new uh, truck GPS, man. You need the truck GPS because when you're on that road, especially if you're a new truck driver, man, it tell you all the truck routes to take. And keep you off all them back roads where you see that shit on Instagram where you make the wrong left turn and you be stuck. <laughs> hey, it also tell you, um, it gives you the, uh, what the hell wrong with you? <laughs> That's enough! <laughs> <laughs> I've heard enough! I'll give you a dollar to be right now. <laughs> it also gives you the, uh, um, uh, what's that called? She'll give you the bridge heights. Yeah, the level. bridge heights. So you don't catch no bridges. You don't go into no low underpasses. So I'll tell you all the low underpasses. And, uh, yeah, keep you safe out on that road. And if you lost in the sauce, you get out of lost in the sauce. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you go uh, Make sure you go join the giveaway. And uh, stay tuned, man. It's them Jennings boys. Y'all deal with this, this all day. <laughs> what? I got to get my hat back. You don't want the truck GPS? 
What if I was giving away a, a Dodge Ram Cummins? Mega cab, <laughs> mega cab, turboed up. <laughs> then he want to hear about it. I want to ask him all them details. I'll tell you that. I'd be like, you can't join. <laughs> you can't buy no tickets for that. But yeah, y'all stay tuned, man. It's getting dark. We have to take take it to the crib and chill, man.